Um, and then DHCP serving for the LAN. To enable DHCP on a LAN interface, you must first configure the Ethernet interface with an IP and make sure it is up. Um, so once you've, you've got a, the LAN interface, you've got an IP on it, it's up, the next thing you need to do is logically define the DHCP address pool. So that command is IP space DHCP space pool and then whatever you want the, the name to be. In this case, pool uh, name. And you can see right after that, it'll jump you into DHCP configuration mode. You'll get the little change there on the, uh, the prompt. So once you get there, uh, you can begin configuring the actual perimeter uh, parameters for uh, DHCP. So the first thing you're going to want to do is define the network that you want uh, the IPs to be vended from. In this case, it's going to be the same network that you assigned to that, um, that LAN interface, but it's going to be the full network IP, not just the IP of the interface itself. So network space 172.16.0.0 space and then submit mass 255.255.0.0. And again, remember, you're in DHCP configuration mode, not global configuration or otherwise. Next thing you're going to want to do is uh, define what the, the router's IP is. In this case, it's going to be the IP that you just assigned that LAN interface. So uh, default dash router space and then the IP address. In this case, 172.16.100.1. Um, and then you're going to want to uh, assign DNS servers. Because you got to keep in mind when you set up DHCP, there's a... There's a few things it's going to hand out to all the little hosts or computers or whatever that are connecting to that LAN port for DHCP. It's going to hand an IP address, it's going to hand a subnet mask, it's going to hand a gateway, and last it's going to hand DNS servers. Um, so the command for DNS servers is dns-server space 172.16.100.50 or whatever your, uh, your DNS servers happen to be. And if you've got multiple DNS servers you want it to hand out, you can just put spaces and then the, the consecutive IP addresses. And then it's, uh, it's going to need to know the domain name. So in this case, I used mine again, uh, domain-name space townwalker.com. Um, and then you may want to, uh, to modify the lease time for the, the DHCP uh, to you know, let, let, let DHCP know how long each of those devices get to hold on to those IPs before they have to uh, renew their lease or get a new lease. Um, so in this case, it's lease, space, and then the time. Uh, first value is days. Second is hours, third is minutes. So the lease on this is lease seven uh, seven days, two hours, and forty five minutes. And then once you got all that done, you can exit. It'll jump you out of DHCP configuration mode, and you can define any excluded addresses from your DHCP range. Um, command structure is going to be IP space DHCP space excluded dash address space, and then the the IP addresses. Uh, in this case, I've got a range set up. You know, from one through dot uh, one through dot fifty. At the very least, you want to exclude the dot, uh, whatever um, your your gateway is, the the router's uh, interface IP is, so it doesn't try to pull that. In this case, the dot one. Um, but it's it's usually a good idea to at least exclude a handful of IPs because there's uh, many times you're going to want to have a static address set on a, a few specific devices on the network. Um, so by excluding those from the DHCP range, it allows you to make sure that. You can statically set those, and they all—they've always got the same IP address. You don't have to worry about like poking around trying to figure out what the IP is each time. Um, and then to assign an interface, this is a uh, all the first part we were talking about was basically DHCP on the LAN. I think of this as more of uh, DHCP on the WAN, um, or I guess it could be you know another router behind it. But let's say you had like a, a an ISP that's um, connecting to your router, and they're giving you. A, a dynamic address. So this would be the configuration for that. Uh, to assign an uh, interface a DHCP address um, when it's connecting to a configured DHCP server, first jump into the configuration of the interface. So in this case, uh, fast ethernet 00. And then the command is just going to be IP space address space DHCP instead of actually specifying an IP address. Um, in many cases, you may also need to set a, a static route. Um, Instead, since you don't have an IP, the, the route, the static route, default route is going to be IP space route 0 .0 .0 .0, 0 .0 0 0.0.0.0.0 space and then the name of the interface rather than an IP address. So in this case, fast ethernet 0 slash 0. Um, and then if you want to do some troubleshooting on DHCP, um, the show DHCP lease command is pretty important because it lets you look at all the individual devices, see how long they've been connected, how long their lease is for, that kind of thing. And that is the end of Chapter 8, Foundation Cisco Configurations. 
any questions on that?